how are you? Um, let's start with your name. Hi, I am Star. Okay, Star, so first I want you to do is write your name with um, a pen or a pencil. Hmm. Oh no, this is out of ink. Do you have another one? All right, next let's have you put on some gloves. Hmm. Well. Um. Okay, and last but not least, let's have you put on a hat. A hat. Hmm. This one's a little small. All right, thank you so much, Star. I'm Hi, okay, so let's start with your name. Oh, hello. I am Books. First, um, can you show me how you would blow a kiss to someone? Can you show me how you would unlock a door with a key? Okay, so next, um, I want you to write your name with a pencil. All right, thank you so much, Bucks. So as you can see with ideomotor apraxia, Bux was able to spontaneously write um, because of the procedural memory that she has. Um, so it's a little bit more automatic. But when asked to write, um, she has to process what is being asked and that becomes a little bit more difficult even though she's aware of what is being asked and she knows how to do it processing that and sequencing and coordination of the movement it requires more semantic memory this becomes more difficult and that is why they are unable to carry out and complete a task and then with ideational apraxia it relates to um, their inability to recognize the purpose of the object which causes them to have difficulty completing a task. Ideational is more on the instruments and the objects used, whereas the ideomotor is on the motor, the movement aspect of it.